Good evening. My name is Rebecca Noe. I'm the principal here at Oyster River High School, and I have the pleasure of welcoming you to the 2022 Underclassmen Awards. These awards used to be held during the day for a couple hours in the gym, but a few years ago we were going to change this to an evening event so that families could take part in the celebration with their stu students for all of their achievements. COVID got in the way of that. So tonight I'm delighted to be able to honor our students with their family and friends present. We want to acknowledge the hard work, perseverance, and skill shown by all of our students tonight. It, uh, it is all of you that make Oyster River the community that it is. So tonight we celebrate your achievements in many areas. And we'll begin with the National Merit Scholarship Program. The mission of the National Merit Scholarship Corporation, NMSC, is to recognize and honor the academically talented students of the United States by conducting nationwide academic scholarship programs. The enduring goals of NMSC's scholarship programs are to promote a wider and deeper respect for learning in general, and for exceptionally talented individuals in particular, to shine a spotlight on brilliant students and encourage the pursuit of academic excellence at all levels of education, and to stimulate increased support from individuals and organizations that wish to sponsor scholarships for outstanding scholastic talent. This year, Oyster River has the pleasure of honoring seven students who will receive recognition in the 2023 National Merit Scholarship Program. As I say your name, please come to the stage. Maya Ejit. Henry Hagen. Chloe Hawks. Catherine McEwen. Shashbath Srivatsan. <laughs> Siddharth Srivatsan. <laughs> and Kelly Zhang. One more round of applause. And next we'll begin our book awards. The Yale Book Award honors a student with proven strength in combining a creative imagination with a sense of history. This recipient reflects an ability to leverage a world of possibilities to expand the real world that we live in. They exhibit an appreciation that history is a resource that the imagination can draw from with many places and many times that can help to augment our insights into the present. We are pleased to present this award to Chloe Hawks. The Wells College 21st Century Leadership Award is designed to honor two students who embody the spirit, integrity, and intellectual qualities of a young leader, who also excel academically and who have demonstrated leadership ability through school and community activities. We are pleased to present the award this evening to Justin Pardis and Sabrina Golden.
Good evening. The Bryn Mawr President's Book Award is presented to a young woman who exhibits an intense intellectual commitment, a self-directed and purposeful vision of her life and a desire to make meaningful contribution to the world. We are pleased to present this award to Maya Ajit. Maya is not available to be here tonight. The University of Rochester George Eastman Young Leaders Award Honor honors a student who demonstrates strong leadership experience at school and in their community, high grades and challenging courses, and extensive involvement in extracurricular activities. We are pleased to present this award to Henry Hagen. Good evening. Uh, I'm Lisa Hallback, and I'm here to present the Clarkson University Leadership Award. Uh, the Clarkson University Leadership Award and the Clarkson Achievement Award recognize a student whose outstanding leadership qualities have made a positive impact on their school and local community. Each recipient has a strong academic record, which places them in the top 15 students in their class and has an interest in business, engineering, science, or the liberal arts. We are pleased to present these awards to John Federico for leadership and Haley Pickering for achievement. Hi everyone, I'm Adam Lacasse, I teach business and economics. Uh, today I have the honor to award the University of Rochester Xerox Award for Innovation in Information Technology. Uh, this award recognizes a student with a strong interest in innovation and information technology and it's a high level of achievement in this area who leads other students to new approaches to solving old problems. This person is also involved in the community service and after school activities. activities. We are pleased to present this award to George Atala. Good evening, my name is Jason Baker. I'll be presenting a few awards tonight. The St. Michael's College Book Award recognizes students who have demonstrated a severe commitment to community service for which they, is, they have assumed a leadership role and are a member of the National Honor Society. We have two awards this evening and they go to Cleo Grandal and Andres Alcacer.
The St. Anselm College Book Award honors a junior with demonstrated academic success and strong leadership qualities in the area of civic engagement. We are pleased to present this award to Liliana Libby Davidson. The Sage College's Student Sage Award is presented to a junior in recognition of outstanding characteristics of academic excellence and community involvement. The recipient embodies the Sage motto of to be, to know, to do through their achievements and involvement, and in doing so, brings well-earned recognition to the learning community here at ORHS. Congratulations to this year's recipient of the Student Sage Award, Nathan Walker. The Society of Women Engineers Certificates of Merit recognizes three young women who have demonstrated high achievement in science and math. It is our pleasure to recognize the following students. Emily Liu, Sarah La Liberty, and Kelly Zhang. Mark Milliken, the Dean of Faculty. The University of Michigan Awards honors, the University of Michigan Award honors a student who has demonstrated good character, excellent scholarship, and positive leadership. They have maintained high standards while pursuing a challenging course of studies. We are pleased to present this award to Siddharth Srivatsan. The Brandeis University Book Award for Social Action and Civic Engagement is given to a junior in the top 15% of their class. This student also demonstrates a commitment to civic engagement, community service, political activism, social or volunteer work. We are pleased to give this award to Zoe Selig. Good evening, I'm Karen Van Dyke. The University of Rochester Frederick Douglass and Susan B. Anthony Award honors a student who presents a demonstrated commitment to understanding and addressing difficult social issues, leadership, and a dedication to community action with strong grades and rigorous courses taken in the humanities and social sciences. We are pleased to present this award to Amelia Knott.
Good evening. I'm Kim Sakara. I'll be presenting a few awards. The Elmira College Book Award recognizes two students whose academic achievement places them in the top 10% of their graduating class and who have demonstrated outstanding school and community leadership. We are pleased to present this award to Katherine Stevens and Shashwi Sravatsin. The Smith College Book Award honors a junior with outstanding academic achievement, leadership, and concern for others, and who will continue to be an example of the ways in which an educated woman can be of service in all areas. We are pleased to present this award to Grace Webb. Each year, Oyster River nominates one sophomore to represent our school at the Hugh O'Brien Youth Foundation Conference. Hobie's mission is to inspire and develop our global community of youth and volunteers to a life dedicated to leadership, service, and innovation. This year's Hobie representative is Landon Wolf. Good evening. I'm Kara Sullivan, the advisor to the Debate Club. Each year, our debaters are offered the opportunity to participate in the Coolidge Cup, a tournament sponsored by the Coolidge Foundation. This national debate tournament attracts top debaters from across the country to President Coolidge's historic hometown in Plymouth, Vermont. To compete in this tournament, debaters must qualify based on their participation in debate tournaments throughout the season. I am pleased to announce that two of our students qualified this year. Congratulations to Amelia Knott and Elsie Paxton. Hello again, Sean Peschel couldn't be here. I'm here to um, award the Career Technical Education Award to Caleb Hartford, who also couldn't be here. Good evening, my name is Matt Pappas. I'm a teacher at, in the uh, Social Studies Department. I am here to give two awards. Um, first, the Boys and Girls State. Granite Boys and Girls State are based on New Hampshire state government at uh, town, city, county, and state levels. The programs emphasize the impact of government in today's world. Each student has a chance to learn what government is and the many roles they may take on. They learn duties, privileges, rights, and responsibilities of American citizenship. Teachers at Oyster River were asked to nominate students from the class of 2022 that they felt were outstanding students who showed leadership and dedication. All four are excellent choices and will represent Oyster River well. The 2022 nominees for Granite Boys State are John Federico and Drew Dulac. The nominees for Girls State are Sabrina Golden and Kelly Zhang.
This next one's kind of long, so I brought my sidekick, Adam, with me. This is the fifth or sixth year uh, Oyster Rivers participated in National History Day competition. This year, Mr. Cangello and Ms. Anderson took part in the event as part of their US history class and sent students to the state competition at Plymouth State University. National History Day teaches critical thinking, writing, and research skills, and boosts performance across all subjects. Students learn college and career ready skills as they learn to collaborate with their team members, interview experts, and manage their time. This opportunity affords students the freedom to explore events and people in history that are not often found in textbooks. Each year the theme changes, and this year was debate and diplomacy. Oyster River student topics this year include, among others, debating the merits of the draft during the Vietnam War, the creation of the gay student organization at the University of New Hampshire, of the abortion debate in the United States through decades, and the use of corsets in American and European society. Several Oyster River students placed first and second in the state competition, and their projects are now heading to the national competition in Maryland this June. Mr. Cangello said about this year's projects, kids learn a tremendous job. I did a tremendous job. I'm continually amazed at the work that these students do. Ms. Anderson said through interviews, extensive archival resources, and college level research, students created professional quality work and pro proved their deep knowledge of historical events. It is my pleasure to recognize on behalf of the entire social studies department the following students for their accomplishment on their National History Day project. I'm going to read off 14 names. Uh, just hold your applause to the very end. James Oshina, Camden Tucker, Mike Mazza, Cam Miner, Abby Owens, Hazel Stasco, Lucas Savage, Delaney Nato, Mia Boyd, Siri Vetra Maya Granger, Kira Johnson, Molly Schmidt, and Marlies Hyde. Tonight is my night to pinch hint. Um, Madame Milliken could not be here tonight, so uh, we brought her here virtually to present the French Award. Are you there, Madame? Good evening, and I'm sorry I can't be there with you this evening. The Outstanding Achievement in World Language is not an award we give annually. We really reserve this honor for stu a student that stands out among the crowd and has caught each one of our eyes as world language teachers. In this case, outstanding is the perfect adjective. I met this individual as a freshman during virtual lear learning in the height of COVID. She shined. She worked diligently hard. She went above and beyond in every respect. It became clear to me that she was not being challenged in level one. Once we got back to school, I got to meet her one-on-one -on -one and see more what she was like in the classroom. 
I made the suggestion that she think about studying French 2 online over the summer and then skipping from 1 to 3 in the fall. And that's what she did. She started this year in French 3 and had conversations with her teacher after the first quarter that maybe she was ready for more. Maybe she was not getting exactly what she needed in French 3. At that point, after looking at her writing and talking with Madame Saint, we made the decision that Abby was going to move to French 5. So she started in French 1, and in the following year, in January, she became a leading performer in French 5. It has been a thrill to watch the proficiency develop in this young person. Her organization, her drive to learn, her passion, her scholarship, her creativity, all excel in every aspect of French. She's gifted. I don't really like to say that people are gifted, but this young person has a gift for the language. Her drive is taking her across the sea as she has decided on her own to spend the summer in France living with a, a woman in a program of intense French. And she'll come back as a junior next year. And I cannot wait to see how far she has come. She will certainly surpass her teachers. I am so thrilled to give the Outstanding Achievement in World Language to Abby Owens. And I'm so happy that Mr. Milley is there to give it to you. Félicitations, Abby. I am honored tonight to present the award for High Achievement in Spanish. The student who will receive this award has followed an accelerated path to reach AP Spanish as a junior, and despite missing Spanish every Friday because of a conflict with her UNH physics class, she has excelled. Her natural curiosity and desire to make connections where none seem to exist make her an excellent student. She often came in during flex time to reflect on her past performance and had a lot of questions on how to improve her work. When you couple her academic skills with her desire to understand the world around her, I think you can see why it was such an easy decision to give Kelly Zhang this award for high achievement in Spanish. Congratulations, <laughs> Kelly. my honor tonight to present the Mathematics Awards. We're going to start with uh, tonight's Math Club Award. And this award goes to an individual that has been a high achieving participant of the Oyster River Math Team since their freshman year. This year, they helped Oyster River uh, get first place in the Tri-State Math League, which has not been done since 2005. As a result of this student's hard work and dedication, they became the runner-up top scoring junior in the league. It is my privilege to present this award to Shasu Sravatsan. The New Hampshire Teachers of Mathematics is proud to recognize a student from each grade level for their outstanding achievement. This award is given to students who have demonstrated a special effort, creativity, interest, or talent in the field of mathematics. 
It is my pleasure to announce this year's recipients. This year's ninth grade award goes to Maggie Zhang. This year's 10th grade award goes to James Lee. And this year's 11th grade award goes to Sidhu Srabatsan. the Rensselaer Medal. The Rensselaer Medal serves two purposes. One, to recognize the superlative academic achievement of young men and women, and two, to motivate students towards careers in science, engineering, and technology. This medal is awarded to promising secondary school juniors who have distinguished themselves in mathematics and science. Founded in 1824, Rensselaer is the oldest technological institution in North America. This prestigious award has been awarded since 1916 and designed to recognize promising secondary school juniors who have distinguished themselves in mathematics and science. Medalists who apply, are admitted to, and enroll at Rensselaer are awarded a $30,000 per year merit scholarship guaranteed for four years. It is my pleasure to announce this year's recipient, Kelly Zhang. Good evening, everybody. My name is Don Maynard, and I'm here to recognize two kids for excellence in exercise, physiology, and wellness. Um, as you might expect in any with any physical education type of award, these kids just put in outstanding effort, and their attitudes are great every day. But I think the, the best quality for both of these young adults is that they make every class they're in better, better for their peers, better for their teachers. So um, I'm really proud to be able to recognize Claire Trezac and Will Fagan. Good evening, I'm John Bromley, and I'm here to present two awards from the Science Department. Um, the first one is the University of Rochester's Bausch & Lomb Award, and this award recognizes a student with academic excellence, as well as exceptional achievement and rigor in sciences. We are pleased to present this award to Ty Doro. Ty is also really fast. I have noticed that, so that's cool. Um, I'm also here to present the Self Environmental Science or Environmental Sustainability Award. The Southeast Land Trust Environmental Sustainability Award is given to a student who has demonstrated active involvement and commitment to environmental sustainability in the Oyster River community. 
This year's award recipient has been instrumental in the High School Sustainability Club, where she's taken a central leadership role in working to improve the school's composting program. She's devoted many extra hours this year to developing strategies, attending and leading meetings, and making presentations to the high school faculty and community at large. She is a clear leader who is passionate about making positive change in our community. We are pleased to present this award to Grace Webb. My name is Adam Lacasse and I teach business and economics. Uh, today I have the privilege and opportunity to present two awards. Uh, the first one is the Business Plan of the Year Award. And this award is typically uh, awarded to a student or a group of students that show excellence throughout uh, their business plan, typically trying to solve some form of social problem. And in this case, I'm just gonna give you a quick blurb about this one. This student chose the, to do a third-party fair trade product subscription service that pro provides consumers with products marked by fair trade from other companies with a mutual deal between the subscription service and the different companies' products. So this company would be marked as a vendor for a general fair trade products from these other businesses, and these products would be sold through subscription packs or boxes, providing the consumers with a constant stream of these products monthly with their price varying from each box selected by the consumer. Now, I would love to go on and on, but I will stop there for a moment. But uh, what I really uh, love is to see uh, the special skills of the student translate into this writing. Oftentimes, the quieter folks uh, don't get too much attention. And for me, I was just blown away by seeing the quality of the writing, uh, the problem-solving skills, uh, how prepared, the creative thinking, the self-motivation. Motiva uh, and I think what their mother would say is, watch too much Shark Tank as a kid. So anyways, I am honored to award the Business Plan of the Year Award to uh, Mr. Landon Wolf. In the first day of AP Economics, I tell all of my students there is just one way to impress me, and that is with your mind. Everything else is nonsense until once we get in that room, it's all about supply and demand, economic modeling, deep thoughts, and everything else we pretend to really love. Uh, but this student in particular challenged my thinking, and as an educator, one of the best ways to learn, again, is to teach it, but also then to have your students begin the process of teaching others. Uh, this student scored a near-perfect score throughout AP Economics, uh, scored a perfect 5 out of 5 on the AP Microeconomics exam as well as the AP Macroeconomics exam. Truly a role model for all, uh, just an overall great person. Uh, it's my honor to award the uh, 2022 Outstanding Achievement in Business Economics to Ms. Kelly Tseng. and Plord. I'm uh, one of the new art teachers. I'm up here speaking on behalf of Maria Rosie and John Williams for the art department, as well as myself. Um, we would like to recognize three student artists who have really impressed us this year, uh, not only with the art they create, but also with their habits of work. Would Gibson Moore, Ella Raberge, and Margaret Fitzhenry please join me on the stage?
Gibson is an inspired and motivated 10th grade artist who sincerely approaches a visual problem with his own artistic process and style, resulting in fresh and authentic solutions, his enthusiasm and con is contagious for everyone around him. Ella is a freshman student artist who has already made the art department her, their second home. Ella shows no fear in pushing the boundaries of art lessons in order to develop a unique portfolio which screams their own voice. Maggie is, dedicated, is a dedicated sophomore who demonstrates all the core values of a professional artist. She is thoughtful in her process, kind to herself and others, and shows great ability and craftsmanship in her artwork. Maggie approaches every art piece with unique and original ideas. And I have a sketchbook for each of you. Hello, uh, my name is Michael Hawley. And I am the lead mentor of the FIRST Robotics team here at Oyster River High School. If you're not familiar with FIRST, FIRST is one of the leading STEM enrichment organizations in the country and the world, and I'll just read you a little bit from their website. Uh, FIRST it combines the excitement of sport with the rigors of science and technology. They call the FIRST Robotics Competition the ultimate sport for the mind. High school students participate that participate in it call it the hardest fun you'll ever have. Under strict rules, limited time and resources, teams of students are challenged to raise funds, build, uh, design a team brand, hone teamwork skills, and build a pro and program industrial sized robots to play a difficult field game against like minded competitors. It's as close to real world engineering as students can get. Uh, I'm happy to announce that uh, we had a very successful program here this year, uh, renewing interest in, the, in everything that is FIRST Robotics and making it to the playoffs in our first season. Uh, but tonight I want to recognize uh, two individuals for outstanding achievement. Uh, first is the Excellence in Robotics Engineering Award. This award recognizes outstanding contributions to the engineering and design process of the FIRST Robotics team. The recipient, recipient of this award demonstrates a strong combination of learning, innovation, and attention to detail to make significant contributions to the overall design and operation of the robot. Their work inspires others to be creative, curious, and rigorous in application of engineering principles. And I'm happy to announce that this year's recipient of the Excellence in Robotics Engineering Award is Annika Pont. Uh, the next is the Robotics Leadership Award. This award recognizes exceptional leadership and dedication to the FIRST Robotics team while demonstrating a commitment to the values of discovery, innovation, impact, inclusion, and teamwork. The recipient of this award demonstrates the ability to motivate and lead fellow team members, fosters, uh, fosters entrepreneurship and creativity with the team, and serves as an ambassador for STEM and engineering enrichment through robotics. Congratulations to the recipient of this year's Robotics Leadership Award, Saket Kantapudi. Hello, my name is Mark LaForce, representing the music department uh, tonight on behalf of myself and Andrea Van Oyen. Uh, tonight, it's my pleasure to recognize the following students who are accepted into the New Hampshire All-State Band and Orchestra. Uh, the culminating event of that took place uh, in April at the Capitol Center for the Arts in Concord, 
New Hampshire. And uh, we ask that they'll please join us on the stage and we have some certificates for you and kindly hold your applause until I've exhausted my list. Okay, in the Allstate Band, uh, Courtney Giroux. In the Allstate Orchestra, Elena Pavlik. Aaron Turnbull. Kelly Sang. Mary Jong. Paige Steele. Peter Weirda. Sachu Srivatsan and Sidhu Srivatsan. Let's have one more round for all of our award recipients tonight. So I appreciate being a part of ceremonies that highlight our students' achievements. First, it's fun to give you a moment on the stage, but it's also a chance to recognize and honor the dedication, desire, and discipline of each one of you. You embody our mission, which emphasizes the uniqueness of each member, as we all work to become educated, ethical, responsible citizens who strive to contribute positively to our world. You are on a path to do great things, and we're excited to see where you go in your future. So with that, I want to congratulate you on all of your accomplishments, and thank you for coming this evening, and have a wonderful night. Thank you.